Hello, my name is Bosch. I have the privilege of doing our first devotion for King's Daughter 2024. King's Daughter is our annual women's conference hosted at North Point City Church. I would love to take this opportunity to invite you. For more information on how to register, please look at the description box below. Our theme this year is life and godliness, and this is inspired by 2 Peter 1 verse 3 and a book called Disciplines of a Godly Woman by Barbara Hughes. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 reads, His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. When you hear all things, and the scripture does say all things that pertain to life, it can sound a bit ambitious, right? Because let's consider for a moment what we need in our life. We need provision for our daily needs, wisdom when we're raising our children, comfort if we are grieving, faith when there's fear, peace when we're feeling anxious. And I'm sure that you could think of so many other things that we need for this life. Peter captures a wonderful truth, the truth that what God provides us with is more than enough for living a godly life. We don't need anything else. Peter, who is a disciple of Jesus and also the author of this book, reminds us that we are not alone or unequipped. He reminds us that our source is God's divine power. Our goal is life and godliness. And this comes to means. The means is through the knowledge of Jesus. The verse refers to a life filled with joy, knowing God and his will for our lives in the here and the now. You know that you can trust in God's power, his grace and his love, which is constantly available to us. And this provides strength and resources that we need to pursue life and godliness. I am a wife to an amazing husband. I have three beautiful girls. I have an incredible family. I have a job that I really enjoy. But this does not define my identity, nor does it define my goodness and my godliness. Godliness means conforming to the character of Jesus in my thoughts, in my heart, in my words and in my deeds. Godliness simply means a life that is centered on Jesus. It is God's heart that we would become more like Jesus. And it is the centrality of this truth that defines my role and yours. As we continue, Peter emphasizes that the provision to become more like Jesus comes through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. To live a godly life and to have knowledge of God, we must cultivate a deep and personal relationship with him. Sitting there, you know what your day looks like. You know your triumphs and you know your challenges. Ladies, to journey towards forging a closer relationship with Jesus means that we need to put certain disciplines in place. It looks like prioritizing time with him, seeking his guidance through prayer, spending time in his word, trusting that his word would shape our heart and our mind, and that we would be women who respond in obedience. It involves commitment to knowing God more intimately, which in turn will shape our character, our choices, and living out our faith in every day and everything that we do. It involves building godly relationships with brothers and sisters who pray for us and spur us on. It is through disciplined practices that we align our lives to God's will and his purpose. Over the month of August, we will be reflecting on different disciplines that help us to become more like Jesus and shape us into his image. Being a godly woman is a calling that comes from God. It is, it is through his goodness and his grace that we can only do this. The calling is not about perfection, but it's about pursuing his holiness and his righteousness. It is about striving to reflect God's character in every detail of our life, be it in our relationships, our time management, and even our challenges. And let's be real, we will have stress, we will have struggles, there will even be failures. But one thing I can assure you is that God's grace will always be sufficient. His divine power through his Holy Spirit is there to lift us up, to encourage us and to move us forward. Galatians 2.20 reads, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God 
who called me and gave himself up for me. As I conclude this video, I pray that you would embrace this journey with joy and determination, knowing that God's divine power and grace is with us. May we surrender to Jesus. May we submit our lives to his will and his ways. May we be completely satisfied in Jesus. May we know that we can trust him moment by moment of every day. Let us strive to be godly women who honor God in all that we do, living a disciplined life that shines with his glory, his goodness, his love, and his faithfulness. I so look forward to seeing you at King's Daughter 2024.